Hi everybody, we're looking at question one from our homework. This is given to you on Monday, um, and it's due tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And our question is, three times a number, so here I'm annotating the problem, three times a number is at least 15. What are all the possible values of the number? So in this question, we know that our number, here we have a number, and the number, is going to be x. So, or is there going to be our variable, which is going to be x. So x is going to equal our number. I'm going to try to write this neatly. Use the mouse, so it might not be perfect. So x is going to equal our number. And based on our problem, we know that 3 times a number, which we know is now x, 3 times x is going to be at least 15. It's going to be at least 15. So we're going to write 15 over here because we know, we know it's going to be at least that value. So our choices for inequality are going to be greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, or less than or equal to. So in this problem we're looking at three times a number is at least 15. So if we know that it's going to be at least 15, it has to be greater than 15. So we can immediately eliminate these two options. So this is going to be one of these two, either greater than or greater than or equal to. In this case, we're looking for a number that is at least 15, so now that it can be equal to 15 or greater than 15, so we're going to use the inequality greater than or equal to in this problem. Since it can be greater than or so since it can be 15, it, we're going to use greater than or equal to instead of just the greater than sign. So our inequality is going to be 3x is greater than or equal to 15. At this point, I don't want to stop. I'm going to stop for 30 seconds. I want you to try your best and attempt to solve the rest of this problem to find all the possible values of the number or the solution set for our number. Take 30 seconds. I want everyone to try to solve the problem on their own. It's been about 30 seconds, and I hope that we've now solved our inequality and found all the possible values for our number, which in this case is our variable, which we have set to be x. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to get 3x is greater than or equal to 15. Our next step is going to be to divide by our coefficient. Right here is our coefficient. Divide both sides by that. Isolate for x. We're going to get x. Oops. x is all values greater than or equal to to 5. So if we were to graph this, we put the number 5 here, we have a circle on our 5 and that would be totally filled in because 5 is a possible value. We all the numbers that are greater than or equal to 5. This would be the solution set to our problem and that is how we'd solve question number one on the homework.